Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing another Delta 821. So because MSP just gets so many Delta 821s, it was worth it just to get another one. So this is my fourth, um, if you include the 821neo. So here's another Delta 821. Uh, this one I got really cheap because it's, uh, it's defective in a certain way, uh, which you'll see. But it was like $15 on eBay plus shipping, so it ended up being like $30 in total. But that's not a bad deal for this aircraft. But here is the box. You have the uh, uh, aircraft taking off in the, on the back there. This is the 2020 release. So there is the 2016 one when Delta first were delivered, the A321s. Then there was the 2017 one, which I have, and then this one, the 2021. And then NG also did a release. Maybe they did two releases, I'm not sure. But um, yes, this is the 2020 Gemini just released. Um, unbox this one handed here. But that worked. And we'll get this guy out of here. So I'm going to tell one of the defects by, you can see right here. But uh, we'll get the review started here. I don't really have any pointer things, but I guess I have a pen right over here. So I'll use the pen and um, we'll get started with our review here. So we have our cockpit windows up here. We have the SkyTeam logo. Uh, we have the L1 boarding door, the nose gear, and then as you can see, we are missing an antenna right there. The forward antenna is missing, but that's not the biggest deal ever. We have the Delta title right here. Um, the big issue, which you can already see here, uh, the uh, L the engine here is missing the exhaust piece. Um, apparently, it just didn't come when the model shipped to the original owner. So, yeah, that looks a little bit weird. Um, I bought it figuring that I could probably just like cannibalize another one of my aircraft and just put it on here or I can make a custom one out of paper or something, which I have not done yet, but that is definitely a possibility of something that, that I could do to remedy that. But um, that does look a little bit weird for the time being. The other side is correct. Like that's what it's supposed to look like. That is all good there. But yeah, this side is a little bit weird. Um, and I'll try to get that fixed, <laughs> make it look a little bit more normal. <laughs> Uh, we have our wings here with all the applicable detail, the, um, the, the sharklet here, uh, just blank on both sides. We have, uh, these antenna are still, uh, present on the aircraft, as you can see, and they look modeled very nice right there. We also have the SATCOM dome, American flag registration, November 327, Delta November, and then we have the tail with the widget on it, beautiful. We also have a Delta belly on the bottom with the Chipping Jets logo. So that all looks very nice. Yeah, nothing really much more to go over on this aircraft except so that is missing. But maybe I can find another aircraft that I can cannibalize or I can just like make one out of paper. We'll see what, what happens with that. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll try to get that one fixed. It won't be like that for the next update of MSP, but um, it, will hopefully be fixed at some point in the future. But at least this side looks nice uh, and correct. But yeah, just because I needed like another Delta A321, just because there are so many at MSP, I just need an A320 pretty bad because now they're flying a bunch of those to MSP. Yeah, it's <laughs> you gotta get pretty much all the Deltas here um, for that airport. But this is, the, this is my fourth A321 if you include the Neo, so three, uh, the, the two regular liveries and the thank you and then the 321 Neo. So that will hopefully make the MSV airports a little bit more realistic, just adding yet another Delta aircraft in there. But uh, especially the A321, since that's probably the aircraft that we get the most there. A321s, E-175, 737 900s, A320s. I don't have any 320 yet, which is a big gap, but hopefully I'll be able to, hopefully maybe Gemini will release one soon or I'll be able to... Um, find one on eBay or something. But until then, uh, this aircraft will definitely serve very well at MSP. And that'll do it for this unboxing video. And I will see you tomorrow. As always, good night. I'll be the same.